Hey everybody, this is Miss Huggins. I wanted to talk to you today about the famous American artist, Andy Warhol. Um, for today's project, you'll need white paper, a pencil, an eraser, some markers, possibly, um, colored pencils, crayons, and a Sharpie would be great. I also have a can of soup from my pantry. I'll explain that in just a moment. So Andy Warhol, this famous American artist, was um, involved with the pop art movement of the 1950s and 60s. And so pop art, pop art projects are some of my favorites and I think you'll really have fun with this today. Um, it's going to be super colorful and fun. Um, I really enjoy teaching about it. So um, let's talk about a little bit. Um, let's talk about what pop art is. Um, we've got um, with Andy, Andy Warhol's work, you would see um, iconic images from popular culture um, and the mass media. So think of advertisements. Think of things that would be easily recognized. Think of food items. Um, his artwork included um, anything from Campbell's soup cans to Coca-Cola bottles, anything from Mickey Mouse to Elvis Presley. All right, so things that almost everyone knows and recognizes. And then he would use a certain screen printing process and you would see those images repeated over and over and over and over again. They would be different colors. All right, so if you, let's say you had a picture of Mickey Mouse, that would be repeated multiple times and Mickey would be a different color each time. All right, so this is a little preview of what we're gonna be doing. Um, and I chose a food item, you don't have to, but um, I thought that would be something appropriate. I also thought of maybe something like a cupcake. Um, that's just an idea I'm throwing out there. I also thought maybe a tube of tooth toothpaste would be really fun or art supplies that you've got lying around. Um, anything with a logo would be really fun. And um, remember that soup can I told you about? This would be a great time to study the the label, study the logo, study the shape of it, the shadows that you see. If you just wanted to do a still life study of that, um, that would be an awesome opportunity. Um, so I've given you lots of ideas here, um, but I'll go ahead and start talking about my piece of fruit. I've got a sliced piece of fruit and I have a template that I've created so that <clears throat> I can trace each time. You will, this will really be helpful because no matter how hard you try, it's going to look different each time. So create your template, go over it with Sharpie, and then cut it out. All right. If you're using regular copy paper, you can fold this in half and fold it once more to make four, four little sections to draw in, like my... Campbell soup cans here, or if you want to do it in thirds, you can act as if you're about to mail a letter and divide it up in thirds here. Carefully getting those edges matched up and then unfold and then half it. I want to get my corners together and make a nice crease. Okay. So like I said, with pop art, you would have bold colors. So that's why I mentioned the Sharpie. Um, you'd see strong black lines, um, bright colors, sometimes neon colors would be seen. 
All right, I've got this rainbow shape going on with um, two more extra lines in there. And then I'm going to divide it in two and then divide that section and then here. So three straight lines and three curved lines and then one going across. So whatever this is, an, an orange or a lemon slice or a lime, um, I'm going to add um, a little bit of black Sharpie here in the corners to make it look a little bit more rounded out and trace everything, of course. And then do some curved lines here. These curve out and these curve in. That's just how I decided to do that. And then I'll trace it five more times. Okay, and then go over with Sharpie. Um, erase your pencil lines when you're done and then you'll be ready to color. Okay, so if you're looking at this and thinking maybe that looks a little flat and kind of boring, um, let's pull this out and maybe get some ideas from this. If you need to, if you need to pause the video and take a look at this, you may, and come back to me. Um, but I was just thinking that I really do enjoy using a marker. <clears throat> I like combining, I like to combine the marker with the colored pencil or crayon. Okay, so let's just say that one of, one of my pieces of fruit needed an interesting background. could easily match up purple colored pencil with purple marker. Okay, and I also wanted to show you, I wanted to show you how to trace around this section here when you're ready to color. I just make myself a nice border there and then I can go back and I can color a little more quickly so go slow around the edge and then you can color a little more freely make your border first Okay, so there's one idea for purple. Here's an idea for green. Every background needs to be a different color. And if you're going to use it again, just make sure you don't do it side by side where you've already done that color. Okay, so see how you can use the marker and the crayon together or the colored pencil. Okay, so there's just some ideas I'm throwing out there. talk a little bit about the soup can and then we'll be finished. So to create the soup can, you'll need to do circular motion, kind of in this flattened out pancake shape. Just draw it over and over and over until you've kind of got the, the size that you want. And then two straight lines going down.
and then the bottom of the can is going to match up with this line here. So two curved lines, two straight lines, and then one over top and one in the middle because of the way the logo is made. And this will also match this. And that logo has a circle in the middle. And then you'll need to get rid of these extra lines. And go over it with Sharpie. And then add some lines to get this. I want it to look like the top of that tin can, so it's got a few extra lines here. Okay, I think that's everything. Just remember, it can be any kind of food item you see in your pantry. Just remember to repeat it over and over and over. And um, make sure to use lots of bright colors like Andy Warhol would. And remember, um, the top of this can is red and the bottom is white. You could even um, add your name here so that your name is the name brand for the soup. Um, that's just an idea. Or you can make it look like the real thing. So thanks for doing this with me today, everybody, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks.